Christmas Eve and we're about to start our big day of cooking, trying to get ready for tomorrow, thinking of Christmas Day. All of my family will come and join us and we'll have a big meal together and fellowship one with another. So the things on our agenda today that we need to do, we like to do the dressing one day ahead, you know, thinking of Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's really the only times of the year we make it. We try to do it the day before. For one thing, that just gets, it's kind of a labor intensive task, gets that out of the way. It also lets all those wonderful flavors really marry together. I always leave the dressing to, to Matt, usually to Matt and Corey, but Corey and Austin have went to be with Austin's family for Christmas, so Corey's not here. I think Katie's gonna help Matt though, and they're gonna, they're gonna tackle the, the dressing. Matt's got him some eggs boiled over there. He's got some cornbread. You can see this piece that's missing. That was me. I ate that for my dinner. Some butter. It was very good. So I'm going to let them handle that. I also like to do my sweet potatoes the day before, like the first step of them, and then just roast them on the day of the meal. So I have some sweet potatoes, and for the last few times, I've been adding one of our butternut squash that we grow in the garden, and that's turned out really nice, so I'm going to do that again. I made an arched potato cake yesterday. Got it over there on the buffet, again, letting all those wonderful flavors marry together. I don't always manage to get it made ahead of time, but it is, it's better if you do because it lets it just get more moist and let it all soak together. Mm, it's my favorite cake in the whole world. Of course, we have the turkey and the refrigerator thawing. Matt's got his deer ham thawing. And I made my rolls about a week ago, so they're in the freezer. I'll just pull those out tomorrow. Uh, my sister-in-law and my nieces are my nephew's wife she feels like a niece uh, but my nephew's wife rachel she'll bring stuff and my sister-in-law kim will granny of course will bring her green beans so there'll be much more added to the meal besides the things that i mentioned and let's we'll see it seems like i've left out something else corn but that's easy we'll get that out tonight let it thaw overnight and then we'll just put it in the crock pot for our corn that we cut off in the summer we just basically put some butter in it and some salt maybe some a little bit of pepper and just let it put it in a crock pot or something or on top of the stove but tomorrow will be easier to put it in a crock pot and just let it warm through with all that butter that's all we do there's a few other things though that we'll want to do today we've continued to get the wonderful beautiful christmas cards that people are sending thank you so much we just love them we're just crazy about them and i want to make sure that we get them all hung up on the wall so tomorrow everybody can admire them and go through and look at them so i want to do that and then since this is Christmas Eve, this is the day that we'll have our traditional oyster stew. Matt will make that for us this evening for our supper. Very simple, he just uses milk and butter and oysters and, and black pepper. Really tasty though. This will be a, an unusual or our first Christmas, I guess you would say it'll be different without Miss Cindy and also without Corey since she's with uh, Austin's family. So that'll be different for us. A few weeks ago, we were talking about how it was gonna be different, me and Matt and Katie one evening and you know how it would be strange. And Katie doesn't like oyster stew. So she was thinking about what she could make and she said she thought maybe that she would make some shrimp scampi or something like that. I guess she was thinking seafood since she was talk you know, we were talking about the oysters. And I said, well, you know what? You could start a new tradition. Why don't you make that? And you could invite Granny and Paul to come eat with you. They both like sh uh, shrimp scampi. Neither one of them would eat the oyster stew. So uh, she, she said, yeah, I like that. So she said, I'm gonna test out my, get a recipe and test it out before then. And I think she's made it twice since we talked about it. So her and Paul are gonna, that's what they're gonna do. We'll all eat together, of course, but they're gonna make that. But I think Paul's actually gonna make it because he told her he really liked the way he made it and he made it really good and Granny was bragging on him. So he'll probably make that. So that'll be later today too. I can't believe that Christmas is here already and it's been really busy and hurried, of course, because of Granny being sick and, and all that, all the treatments and everything. But it's also been a really wonderful, wonderful Christmas that I've enjoyed. So now I'm gonna to get to work on these sweet potatoes and try to get out of Matt and Katie's way when they're ready to do the dressing. I've got the sweet potatoes and butternut squash on, and Katie and Matt, I think, has got all their stuff out. I forgot the celery. I forgot to buy any celery, so we had to make a trip to Granny's. That's great when you got somebody close by you can borrow from. So we borrowed the celery, 
now they're, I think this is all you need unless we forgot something else. I'm going to go hunt for chicken stock and I'm going to leave y'all to it. Chicken stock. Uh, that's dangerous. Let's see, we've got to figure out what we're going to put it in to mix it. You get put your vegetables in this. Like the celery and stuff Yeah, I want to get it chopped. If you, you want finer, do it finer. Chunkier pieces over here at the edge. Okay. Dump her in the bucket there. Okay, so we're going to group our celery and our onion together. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. Yeah, apparently we don't know how to work the onion chopper, little lady. Uh, sorry. So we're doing this. You want me to show you? I mean, we chopped, but it just did not chop. And they did not, little pieces didn't fall out into the container below. Huh. So I'm just trying to think, like, how do we do it wrong? There's we something missing. Backwards. Backwards. There's something oh, missing. This right part there. right here, maybe. Now that, oh. I, now that I see yeah, it, oh, there's yeah. the rest of it. <laughs> Ain't no wonder we couldn't run. There you go. That'll help a lot. You're setting us, you're sabotaging us, Mom. Sorry. Sorry. I keep thinking, how the heck is that supposed to work? Okay. Now push that. Now it should work. Oh, yeah. One year, we did this with gluten-free toast. And didn't tell nobody to see if anybody could tell the difference, and they didn't. So, if that's something you got to do, <clears> well, <throat> you can. Or if you wanted to use some other type of bread, I mean, you probably could, too. Yeah. So where did we learn this from, get this from, who made this up? My grandpa. Which grandpa? Curtis. So he just made this recipe up? Well, I don't know. That's who we got it from. I don't know if he made it up or if he got it from somewhere or partially got it from somewhere and, and added his own stuff to it. I don't know. Okay. So now what we do is the eggs. Dump that in it. You can finish chopping. I mean, these eggs right here. Mm -hmm. So, my idea is to have, it's okay that these eggs are going to get like fine, small, and mushy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like thinking about consistency, worried about I'm going to do something wrong and we're going to end up with too thin or too thick of a consistency. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be just fine. That's the way we always do. Okay. And you've eaten it. Yes, and it's been very delicious. Even just this looks so good. <laughs> it smells good. I actually, as you're making this, before it's cooked and done, I've always liked it raw and low before we cook it. I like it better like that I mean, myself. there's nothing in there that's going to hurt you. No. You don't need to mash all that up. Okay, just this incorporate This time because it. we're going to do it later when we start adding the liquid. Okay. I mean, just the smell of this and the color and the look is just like, oh. The dressing is my favorite part. Now, it will give you infernal heartburn. It gives me infernal heartburn, but it is my favorite part. It really is. It's by far my favorite part. It always has been. I'd always, which I don't guess I've ever spent any holidays away from home, but if I ever had to, I think that's what I'd be the most disappointed about, is if I didn't make my own, I'd miss the dressing. Because I've never ate any other dressing that I liked as good as this, even though I've had some really good dressing. That's not to knock off on anybody else's. I've had some other really good stuff, too. I'll put you a couple. It's just my favorite. A couple of them. It'll take more. It always takes more, but start with them. Okay. People freak out when they see mustard going in this. But, crispy. Well, and it, I can say, it's not going to end up being overly mustardy like you think. Oh, then it's going to taste no, don't it? A little bit, a couple of tablespoons of vinegar. Okay. And it'll take more of that in a little while. I think it's cool to think about how many times Curtis and them ate this. Mm -hmm. And we're eating it too. Chicken broth. And this is kind of an eyeball it situation too. This, this whole thing's eyeball it to me. And we'll need more of this as we mix it up. 
I'm just gonna make it a little warm. What is that? Butter? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's right, I forgot about the butter. People freak out on that too. But whatever. Don't worry, y'all. This is good. Huh. Pepper and sage. I'm just gonna go white on everything because we can always add more pepper. The sage is it makes it really good, but it's also what gives you the heartburn. Is what I think. It wasn't wanting to come out of the lid normal. I used to hunt with a feather that he eat this, we made it somehow another one year. And he liked it so much, he wanted more sage, and he said he wanted so much sage in it that it, the whole, all that just turned green, that, that white, or that lighter color, he wanted it green. I mean, it's like a half of one of these. That's a little much. It's a little much. Is it ready to mix? Start mixing her up. Just joke, Amy. Mm -hmm. Next year, just you and Corey can do it. That's kind of what I'm talking about. <laughs> then they can do it, and then we can sit in there and watch TV till food's ready. No, you'll have to sit in there and watch babies. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll be doing. yeah, you'll be on babysit duty next year if I, right. if I do this. You don't really realize like how much of this there is. This is a good thick. Pretty good wad, ain't it? Mm -hmm. It kind of is, yeah. It's probably pretty good. You gonna count it good? Yeah. We started putting some of the cards around this archway going into the living room, but I hate to put them too low because of the little kids that'll be coming tomorrow. I've probably already put them within reach of them though. But I think I'm gonna start putting them on this this part right here now. Well, I definitely put them low enough to where they're in the reach of little kids, but maybe they'll be okay. I was able to go all the way back up here to the top. And I was able to add the rest over here in the foyer. I hear Matt coming up the steps. He's probably gonna run into me. I have this old medicine cabinet in here, so I put one on the side there, and I put a few on down here on the little rack where you, you know, you should put your towel if you were using it in the in the bathroom. And then I added a few over here too. I already had some of these up, but then I added a few more towards the end here. And we already had some in this corner but among them, I added the last few of the new ones that come in the mail. I got my sweet potatoes all mixed up with the, the syrup that goes on them. Tomorrow all we'll have to do is bake them, let all that caramelize on them, they'll be delicious. Matt and Katie got the dressing done, I got the cards put up. I still need to wrap my presents. I still got to do that. Of course, Matt's got to make the oyster stew for us to eat tonight. It won't take long to do that. We've got to do the turkey and the roast, but we usually don't do that till right before we go to bed. And the only other thing is on Christmas morning, we do the tradition. We started when Corey and Katie was just really little is that we, you know, we don't have much of a big breakfast or anything because we're going to eat this big meal at dinner uh, during the middle of the day. So we usually just have like muffins or something like that. And we put a birthday candle in them and we sing happy birthday to Jesus. Usually we do a blueberry uh, muffin recipe. Who knows what I used in the beginning, but several years ago, Corey and Katie found this blueberry recipe that they really liked and they're good. But I've been wanting to try my 
the orange cinnamon pull apart bread that I make for Matt. I've been wanting to try that, not make the whole bread. It's a complicated process, but just make the dough and make cinnamon rolls out of it. So then I was thinking I could do that and actually just put the candle in the cinnamon roll, be kind of like the muffin. But I was gonna do that right when I got home from church and I forgot about it till right now. So now it's late, later in the day. I'm not sure if I'll do that or if I'll go back to our usual muffins that we usually do. So I still have to decide about that. But other than that decision and wrapping the presents, uh, I think that we're, I think we, we accomplished a lot today. Now, if you're interested in any of these recipes, like the sweet potatoes or the dressing or anything, we have videos, other videos about it, but I also will link to a page where you can go look at the recipe. About seven of them. What is full that? Full of water. Oh, full of water? That's yeah. Good, good for you. I think we're ready to eat. Paul's made wonderful scampi for him and Katie, and he run Granny some down to the house so she could enjoy it. She didn't feel like coming up here tonight. And I think me and Matt are ready to eat our oyster stew.
We really enjoyed our meal with Paul, enjoyed fellowshipping with him, talking. I loved the oyster stew, really great. Katie and Paul loved their scampi. Matt ate some of it too. He had to sample some of it. It was good. Yeah, it was good. It was good. So all we've got left to do is we've got to, Matt's gonna get the deer roast on and then we have to get the turkey ready, what we're gonna do to it tonight. And that'll be all we need to do before we can go to bed. And I still have not wrapped a present, so I'm gonna have to do that before I go to bed. But I did manage to, I decided instead of doing the cinnamon rolls, just to give the easy way out and I got our muffins ready. So we'll have them ready for in the morning and I won't have to worry about that then. Matt's got the deer ham ready to go in the oven. He'll cook it low and slow all night. It'll be so delicious tomorrow. And also, it's really wonderful. It's part of our Christmas to wake up on Christmas morning. Corey and Katie say it always reminds them of Christmas. You wake up in the morning and that's like the first thing you smell is that wonderful aroma coming from the kitchen where it's been cooking all night. We do our turkey very simply, so now I've salted it really good. You can see it here on the tray. We're going to put it in the refrigerator. In the morning, I'll get it out. I'll put butter all over it, and then we'll put it in to cook. That's all we do to it. I'll, I'll leave the link down below if you're interested in seeing where I learned how to make the turkey. I've been making it like this for years, and it's just simple but really, really good. And now that we've got this done, everything in here I think is cleaned up and Got it all. I guess I'm going to have to go try to wrap a few presents before I go to bed. Christmas gift. It's Christmas morning. We're up, all of us, me and Matt and Katie, getting started. I've got the turkey here. I'm about to put some butter on it and get it ready to go in the oven. I need to put my rolls out first thing, though. I've got me a a baking sheet here. I'm still froze, so I'm going to go ahead and get them out and get them started. I've greased my pan a little bit. This is the best roll recipe. I'll put the link down below if you've never uh, seen me make them. Wonderful recipe. And I'm so glad I figured out after all these years of making them that I can freeze them ahead of time because it gives me so much more time Instead of having to hurry and let them rise twice, I'm just doing this once. I already done the first step. Let's see how many more I can. Maybe I can scooch up a little bit. Scooch up together there. After I get them all laid out, I'll put some plastic wrap over them. I'm going to call Granny and see if I can get her with the Christmas gift. That's a tradition in Appalachia that every morning, or every morning, on Christmas morning, you try to see who can say Christmas gift first. Matt got me this year before I did. I come stumbling into the kitchen this morning and he's like, Christmas gift! I hadn't even thought of it yet, so he got me. Okay, let's see if I've got another pan. One may not. I don't think this is going to hold them either. I may have to scrounge up one more. And might as well just, I'm going to have to have another one. We're getting plenty of room. When I was growing up, Granny would, I didn't realize that Christmas gift is a whole tradition in lots of places, but especially in the mountains of Appalachia. 
I didn't realize that, but I knew that every Christmas morning, Granny would get up early and she'd call her sisters and say that in the phone, and I thought, oh, Granny is so annoying, you know, why would she do that? I also noticed when we would be at my Granny Gazzy's, Granny's mother's house on Christmas Day, and people just come and went to say hello and maybe eat a bite, and then they'd leave, and um, they, when they would come in the door of the house, little tiny house, you know, little old house, they'd say, Christmas gift, and people sitting in there would say, Christmas gift. And so I thought, gosh, Granny's family's really strange, you know. But um, after I started writing for the Blind Pig and the Acorn and researching things, I found out, no, that wasn't just Granny's family. That's a really old tradition, and so I'm happy to keep it alive. And you don't actually give nobody a Christmas gift. I think in maybe in some places they did a long time ago, but mostly it's just a little game to see who can say it first to, you know, just to spread some Christmas cheer. You having a good time? Good. Matt tried to get Corey, you but are? as soon as he called her, she said, Christmas gift. Okay. <clears throat> well. Okay. That's good. I want to call Granny and see if I can get her, but last year when I called her, I called too early and I woke her up, so I don't want to wake her up, especially this year since she's been uh, so tired a lot of the time, so I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I got the rolls all situated, got the turkey all buttered up here, and I, I'm, we're going to do it in the roaster. We've been doing it in our roaster oven pan thing. Matt got it for me. I mean, not like, maybe last Christmas. Maybe that was the first Christmas I used it. He gave it to me early so I could use it, but I've got it heating up so it'll be really hot when we put it in there. And I've got our little muffins here ready. Matt's already eaten one. He's hungry. I'm waiting on Katie to get dressed. And we, we're going to do our little happy birthday Jesus. We usually sit at the table, but my table is so covered with stuff. It's all got to be moved before everybody gets here that I thought we could just stand right here and do it I'm, as soon as Katie gets ready, though. She says she's pretty much ready, so she'll be here directly. Matt's going to taste the deer ham. It's been cooking all night. It smells so good. I wish you could smell it. And it just falls apart. It just falls apart, yeah. Good? Mm-hmm. Paul will be very happy. This is like a Christmas present to Paul. It's his favorite. Goodness. Okay. okay. Oh, there. We decided we'd call or FaceTime Corey so she could be part of this, even though she's not uh, with us. She's always been with us when we do this. I don't remember how old y'all were when I started. And, of course, when they were little bitty babies, I didn't. But we've been doing it a long time, haven't we? A long time. Yeah. A long time, Corey, right? Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> we, have, we have your muffin, but it's going to be hard for you to eat. we got to blow these out. This wax is melting. O okay, let's sing. Ready, Corey? There'll be a lap. Probably so. Just okay. wait on me. <laughs> okay. Mm, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Happy birthday to you. Okay. You have to blow Corey's out for her. She's Corey. trying. Do it again, Corey. <laughs> Oh, you got it! <laughs> oh, good job! Good job. Very nice. Okay. Yay. Now we got some smoke going. <laughs> this is cool, Corey. Which one? You want the one with the red candle? Oh, it's really good. Thanks. <laughs> it's good for you. Huh? Is it blueberry? Yeah, it is blueberry. I'm making blueberry muffins too. I've been looking so forward to this. <laughs> Mom made these muffins. And I was like, as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh, can I please have one? I was trying to wait. Christmas gift. Oh, you got it on me. <laughs> uh, well, I was just said you were reading my cards I got yesterday. I've not got them all read. They must be about 40. Well, that's nice. And, and two of them are for you and Matt. I'll bring it when... I come up with our. Okay. Okay. Well, 
All right. Uh, you'll have to send my, somebody down here to get me because Paul ain't able to come. Okay, I will. Okay. All right. Merry Christmas. Uh, thanks, dog. All right. Bye. bye. It's time for me to fix the tables. I don't, it's probably about an hour, hour and a half before people start arriving. Me and Katie and Matt have really enjoyed ourselves this morning. And now we just got to do the final little preparations before everybody gets here. I'm going to use, I've got two tablecloths I'm going to use. One, let me hold it up. Is, see these beautiful poinsettias? Granny made this uh, from a piece of fabric. No telling how many years ago. You can see where she sewed it on her sewing machine. But this Christmas season, some point, I was down there and she'd been looking through things trying to find something and she found that and she laid it out and told me I should bring it home and use it. So I'm going to use it. The other one I'm going to use, uh, we always bring an extra table up from the basement because our table's so small. I'm going to use, it's got little trees all over it really pretty I love Christmas trees so as soon as I seen one I bought this 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 year this Christmas I just loved it so I got it then in this for the centerpiece I'm going to use these are some little placemats that granny crocheted years ago I put them out sometimes at Christmas in the living room or wherever but I'm going to put them on each table I've got two of the green ones I'm going to use one of granny's crocheted trees that she made a long time ago of course i've had it i've got lots of crochet trees that granny made that i've got this one's like got crochet underneath that covers the form and then it's got these little i don't know if it's hard to see but little waves of roping that she's put all the way around it i love it and then i have two trees that a wonderful subscriber sent me and i'm gonna i think it'll really match the poinsettia so i'm gonna use them I think it turned out really nice. I think it looks pretty good. We're not going to have as many people here this year. We still won't all fit at the two small tables, but my niece and her family are not coming. They couldn't come home for Christmas. My nephew and his family couldn't come home for Christmas. And then, of course, Corey and Austin are at uh, Austin's family's for Christmas, so they won't be here. And then, sadly, we found out a little while ago that Paul come down sick last night, got sick. So we, he, we'll miss him today. I'm going to go pick up Granny, though, and bring her up. She's still going to come. I hope that Paul feels better. We'll take him a big plate of food, and I'm sure that'll help. And, of course, he ate with us last night, so we're all a little bit paranoid about getting sick. So Matt's went out and got us some um, pine needles. He's going to make us some pine needle tea. And even though I don't like it, I'm going to make myself drink it. It's got a lot of vitamin C in it. So hopefully Paul's just got a sinus infection and wouldn't be something that we could catch anyway but we're not going to take any chances on that we're going to at least try try to ward it off but i think the tables turned out very nicely just about time for everybody to arrive i'm going to run down the hill and get granny matt's going to carve up the turkey we're going to wait on people to bring the rest of the food stuff and then we'll be ready to eat mama you want to say the blessing uh, me? <laughs> yeah oh yeah Go ahead. Lord, we thank you for this day and all of us being together. And thank you for the ones who were here and are not here. We, we remember Miss Cindy and how much she meant to us. And uh, we just pray for a happy new year and another time together. And watch over us and the children, we pray. Amen.
<laughs> what are you doing? What do you got there? Somebody got somebody's horrors. Oh, uh, my fingers. Sorry. <laughs> Are you doing the Kung Fu stance? Gonna hurt somebody? I think we're all too tired. We stayed yeah. up till past midnight last night doing stuff for Christmas, which is way too late for us. We're usually in the bed by 9.30. My average bedtime is probably like 10 or even 10.30, but it was like 1 when I went Yeah, it was way too late. But we got everything done last night, and today we had a wonderful day. What a wonderful Christmas. We've just now got everything put back like it's supposed to be and cleaned up and very nice very good food yep oh my gosh yeah and i didn't show the food again one of y'all that was your job to remind uh -oh. me dang it i hope it wasn't my job do not look at me i think it was your daddy's job you can't rely on me i'm completely unreliable i'm sorry i didn't <clears throat> show the food i was going to but we had everything i made you seen and then we had and matt made uh we had the kim brought potatoes potatoes potato salad. Potato salad coconut cake pecan pie mm -hmm. Deviled eggs, Rachel brought. Mm -hmm. Granny brought the green beans. I'm probably leaving something That's most out. of everything. Oh, I the think. little smokies. Oh, I think Ben yeah. made those. Uh, those yeah. were good. Those were good. So anyway, we had a wonderful day. Really good food. Lots of fun fellowship. Watching the kids open their little gifts. And we got <laughs> po pogo good. sticks, which were really exciting. <laughs> those were fun. We would have loved those. Yeah, those were really exciting. So all in all, wonderful Merry Christmas for us. Mm -hmm. I hope it was for you too, though, we do. And we hope that you enjoyed coming along and seeing how our Christmas turned out this year. We're always glad when you stop by to help us celebrate Appalachia. Y'all got anything to say? I'm saying all the stuff. All Merry right. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ditto. I believe it. It's good. <laughs> Merry Christmas from all of us here at Celebrating Appalachia. Alright, I'm out. No, it's we need a thumbnail. Yeah. We need a thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> Ow! You're glad, you better be glad I washed my hands are clean. Otherwise, I'd have been petting that cat. You can't do that. I could probably hook mine and get it to stay. Look. Would you quit? You're gonna choke. Maybe we just hold them up, like. Is your daddy do? I keep watching him and do mine. He's not doing anything serious. Hold it up and quit. <laughs> Dad, you better move it. She's gonna go back and edit this. She ain't stupid. She's gonna see. Have I got this in front of your daddy's face? No, he had his oh. above your head. All right, y'all gonna have to finish this because okay. I have to sit down. Oh, good lord. All right, as I long as y'all were doing what you're supposed I to was. do. I was. I did do what I was supposed to do. Okay. But now. That's a wrap. I can't sit down. Don't turn that light off. We have to say Merry Christmas. Hold on. Okay. Oh, I forgot to say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Oh, I forgot to say you was doing the, I wanted to say that, that you was doing the broth. I forgot. And make some good soup. It'd be okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're in front of the slot, so this makes us look good. We hope that everyone has a Merry Christmas, that you enjoy yourself, eat lots of good food, have a lot of fun fellowship, and I hope you're ready for 2024. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. And now I have to go put all of it in it. That'll be exciting. What did you say, carrots and onions? Where did y'all all be? <laughs> <laughs> worried about his delight. If you go down there and there'll be a patch, y'all need a big one. Arrgh! Yeah. <laughs>